will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way. Arr, me hearty, shiver me timbers. It be update seven of the HMS Victory. Arr. Hi guys, welcome to update seven. So I thought I'd better start filming because I'm going way ahead and we've cut loads of out but at least you've missed all the boring bits of just cutting wood so we're at this stage we've got our little shadow box which you've probably already seen pictures of but um, I'll take the camera off yeah. so if we take a look in here we've got all our grooves cut which is super and same for this side and that side and yeah, we're looking good. We're looking ship shape. <laughs> I'm just sorting some beading out because that line there, that's where the uh, acrylic's going to go. So I need something to sandwich it so it doesn't start moving around. Plus it gives me a natural border then for my seascape. Uh, this section, the back, from here to here is going to be a cavity with the picture. So all the electronics, speaker, lighting will go in this back wall that's just held clamped into place at the moment because nothing's finalized yet uh, got the picture printed off very nice indeed a3 size ish <coughs> so that's going to get mounted on some clear acrylic and be placed in the back there and there will be a board if you can make that pen mark out that's roughly where the picture is going inside so I'll spray that black around the outside to light block. Um, my battery's about to die on the camera, which is always good when you're in, in the middle of explaining something. So I need to go charge you up, guys, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're fully charged and raring to go. <laughs> so where did we get to? We were talking about the back. Yeah, that's going to be a sheet of acrylic that goes across here with all the lighting inside. And also, our seascape's going to be here. Now, if I just grab one of these, I've recycled an old picture frame. And it has a bit of gold leaf. Well, a bit, it's not real gold leaf, but it looks like it. And it's got this uh, nice floral pattern to it. And what I thought is to blend all this in together we would have a little beading that goes around the entire thing just to make it look a bit antique really so it fits in with the period of the ship so I'm going to be cutting a load of these and placing them on here as the base um, the only issue is because the base is literally there there's nothing for this to attach to so what I'm going to do is I've got some 6mm MDF down here so that'll be the base and it's, it's, it's bigger than the actual base so I can screw through that into this to hold it and secure it it'll be glued and screwed <laughs> so that's that um, yeah another look at the picture because I was rushing because my battery were dying uh, I'll give it a matte coat to take all the gloss away from it and the light shining on it but if we stick it in the shadow box there so hopefully when the lighting effects happen these clouds will all be illuminated I spoke to uh, Richard from uh, Magic Scale Modeling and he's promised me the thunder is going to be from hell so I'm quite excited about that. The only issue is I've got to wait two weeks for him to develop the board because it'll be new technology that he's doing it with. Which is fine because I've got plenty to do on here. I'm just going to put you back on the tripod guys. Just hang on a second. There we go. Nice and stable now. So yeah, um, I'm going to take these over to the belt sander, get it back to the, the natural wood. Uh, mock everything up, make sure, make, uh, make sure that it all fits together. I do need to put some blocks on the inside of here to hold the acrylic in place. Um, and then it's just going to be a case of painting everything 
um, dark oak, so it should match in with these. But I thought that looks really nice, and I think it's really going to look like something decent anyway when it's done. Um, the only thing that I'm having issues with at the moment is if I just move you a bit closer. Is this this top here? I don't know whether I'm going to keep it or not. Um, because I do have another picture frame, which is uh, over here, but which I could dismantle. It's basically this one. Um, I could maybe use this along the top, maybe. But depending on how much of that frame's left, because it was quite a big frame, if there's enough wood left, it might do the top as well. But then I'd probably have to change this because this is tapered here. And I do want to cover up these screw, so screws here. I mean, you could use filler, but once you paint it and that, it's not going to look too nice, I don't think, with that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. It might just be a, a piece of wood <laughs> that I could just put some beading around and a nice framework, make it look pretty. Um, but that's as far as I've got today. Um, it's going to take two weeks for the uh, the lighting kit to come. Um, so, uh, speaking of which, the ship. I, wa I originally I was going to light the Victory up. Yeah, originally I was going to light the Victory up. Ugh. See the light source is because when I started this, it got light blocked anyway. So I started with a black under uh, base coat. So you're only going to see light coming through the cannon areas um, and maybe in, a little inside but I didn't want it to look like it was on fire so that's why I never bothered with it but seeing as though we're going to be having lightning and all sorts of jazz <laughs> we have a galleon on the picture here so even if I do light it and it looks like it's on fire, it's just going to look like it's just been in battle. So, it's probably a win-win scenario. I might have just put just two 5mm flickering yellows, either end, aim them in towards the middle. And um, that'll be it for the lighting for it. Also, what I want to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to take the Dremel to it. Now, I really want to like capture movement uh, in the piece. So I think when it comes to cutting this, I'm probably going to do it at an angle. So maybe it's coming out of the water or something like this. Just to give it that sense of uh, movement and fluid. Um, also, if we just move to this bench here. With this picture, what I want to try and do is, I'll just zoom out a second or two. Um, I want to continue the colours that are in the picture into the waves that I'm going to be doing. Because there's no point having this picture here and then having blue waves or even dark sea blue because it's not going to match in with it. So I think what I'm going to have to be doing is mixing up some uh, blacks, greens, um, blues, yellows and trying to recreate what we can see in the picture so it all blends in together um, I'll also be using cotton wool for like bits like this area big waves and where the water's frothing um, but yeah that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge trying to match up the wave colour with all this um, but I think it'll be It'll look pretty good, I think, if I can manage to pull it off. <laughs> but yeah, I've just got to wait two weeks for the circuit board to come. And then we can start planning out our lighting. Um, but uh, that's it for now, guys, because I literally, I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment with the actual display. So, um, yeah. So I've got loads to be getting on with. 
<clears throat> just not sure about this top because it is tapered it's going to be really tricky to put some beading on there that's going to look good and plus it's going to create a well <laughs> as well because it's going to be built up here and nothing there so I'm going to have a, a think about that and see what I can come up with um, but apart from that everything's going smoothly we're getting something together now that looks okay I'm happy with the bottom of it, that's going to look good. Um, I just need to start gluing pieces together now on the base so I can work out exactly where my seascape's going to be and how big to do it. Um, and that's about it, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, there was one more thing. <laughs> if I just bring you back here. Um, this cardboard here is a huge piece of acrylic which I'm going to have to be cutting up for the sides and the front and also the rear now for the picture to sit on that came the other day um, and I think that that's basically it guys there's nothing much to report until I um so guys this is what it look what it kind of will look like with that bottom beading and I also dismantled a spice rack <laughs> which I thought looks pretty nice because I thought if I get HMS Victory a plaque just to put on that piece there uh, <clears throat> and also the sides of the spice rack kind of remind me of the poop deck on the ship it has the same sort of curvature we'll obviously trim this down to get rid of all that lot but it'll look nice and it'll also cover up these screws here so we can just glue that into position there and same with that one over there so it's all coming together slowly uh, <clears throat> I think tomorrow I'm just gonna get on and paint mark off where I need to mark off and maybe even start the um, seascape as well um, but yeah that's it for now anyway guys so I'll catch you tomorrow see ya Welcome back guys, it is now Sunday morning and it's about half past seven in the morning normal folk are in bed but you know <clears throat> a bit annoyed with myself actually because last night I was working on this quite late and I was going to glue all these sections here into position because I, was, I, th I thought this dried in about 30 minutes for some reason and it doesn't, it's 24 hours which is really annoying because I wanted to get it all glued up, set up and then I could get the dark stain on so what the solution that I've come up with is I'm going to glue it and I've drilled, pre-drilled some holes in where I'm going to tack it down with some nails but obviously it's half past seven in the morning and I don't want to get evicted <laughs> for noise pollution <laughs> so we're going to have to wait an hour or two for that so I'm trying to do some quiet jobs at the moment so I filled in these holes on here which I think I showed you last time that's going to be mounted on the top like that and I also have these side sections which reminds me of the poop deck which um, will work nicely to cover up them screws which I'll probably fill the screws and I'll also stick that on top but obviously I can't use any power tools because it's too early but we just need to trim off this section here and we need to trim off the back so it's flush with the actual case itself so a lot of jobs that I can't do at the moment because it's just too early <laughs> so I'm busy quietly drilling out my holes for the wood in a couple of hours I better get some glue down and tack it down into place once all that's set up, I can go ahead and stain this this guy up. Um, <clears throat> working on the back panels, which I'll just lower the camera. So if you get a bit sick, Ooh. just tighten that up. So if you look in here, we've got our back section that I'm working on now. So I've got these little guys here which are being all drilled out they're going to be on the sides like this so it's going to be flush with this once the acrylics on so I'm just 
building up the framework for inside there I cut another piece last night for the bottom which is a, as a overhang so when I come to um, putting that nice framework around the sides it's got something to actually stick to and screw to uh, so yeah once the painting's done then I can take this top off and then I can get on with my seascape which is you know I'm dying to get on with uh, I'll have to find a board that's about 3 mil thick just to place up against there so I can push the water effects to that point uh, hopefully when it dries and I pull it off it's not going to wreck it <laughs> um, but yeah that's where I'm sort of up to at the moment um, I don't want to use the kit supplied um, name tag so I'm thinking about just getting a brass one and putting it on there and hopefully it'll resemble a ship hopefully that's the idea anyway so I'll just raise you back up you raise me up Ugh. so yeah we'll have that on the top these on the sides and it should look quite good uh, hopefully <laughs> We'll find out when I get it stuck together. Uh, so that'll do it for now guys. I, I can't make any noise until later on. So we'll be right back guys as soon as I've actually got some glue down. And these guys all pinned up. So I'll catch you in a bit. So what I've done is taken the top board off the display. And we've done like um, a sky scape if you like. For want of a better word. And I'm telling you Summer, I do not like the look of these clouds coming in. It looks like it's going to storm. So you better wrap up. It's going to get wet. But anyway, this is what we've sort of done. The camera's actually picking out the colours a bit more than what they actually are in person. But hopefully, once the LED strips are in place, once they start flashing, it'll pick up some of this light. And all I did was I started with a base coat of silver. Um, <clears throat> got two tones of blue that just sprayed in the corners. A bit of white here and there. And then black for some nasty looking clouds. So I'm going to let that dry, <clears throat> pull up the tape and then I can paint, stay in the wood normally to match them with the rest of it. So, but yeah, not bad for me first uh skyscape <laughs> so, yeah I'm liking that I think looks pretty realistic I think um, yeah it's going to be an absolute nightmare when it comes to that picture though I think what I'm going to have to do is use artist acrylics on this one just to try and uh, match in the colours there of the, there of the sea there's no point in doing it like blue and stuff like that. Although there will be blue in it, but it'll have to be a mixture of yellows, blues, greens, blacks. I think I've got some NATO black actually. I might mix that in with a bit of uh, dark sea grey. See what we get out of that. Um, but, you know, I'm dying to get on with seascape and I just can't at the moment. It's still too early to be banging around. So I thought I'd crack on with this, get that, it's another job done. Plus, I can actually paint this. Um, yeah, I can get that painted up, that's not a problem. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back as soon as I've got something else to show you. It's got a bit further along now. So what we've got now is... 6mm MDF is the official bottom of this now. So this has been screwed down, glued, and I've also glued the seam here, <clears throat> just so we get a a good bond so that goes all the way around I've also put my beading in which has a 6 mil gap for the uh, acrylic so basically I've got nothing to do now apart from wait <laughs> once this is all set up then I can go on and paint it and I've also got a nice little trench here for all my waves that's the back piece here which will support the acrylic um, <clears throat> so I'm going to mark off 
so where the acrylic's going to come to so I can put build up them waves to a certain level and not interfere with putting that back panel on. Um, but yeah, that's it for so far. We've got our just our top put back on for now, just to keep it all level and straight. <clears throat> I've gone ahead and uh, done some more work on this on the picture. So I've glossed up the waves. And also that sun, it's still drying, but you can see just that ring just around there, just glossed it up. And also the ship has had a, a gloss coat done to it as well. I'll probably do another one once it's actually on the base. So yeah, it's a mess at the back here, but this is where all the electronics will be in this cavity here. So we're looking ship shape. Um, it's just little bits to do now. Uh, Going to sand this piece, clean that off, work on the uh, the poop deck supports. That all needs cutting off along there, and this bit all wants leveling off. Um, but yeah, so that's about it, guys. So far, it's looking good. I'm enjoying it. And we're back, guys. Um, as you can tell with all the clamps, what I'm doing, I'm doing the forward beading and also the side beading. And Jack, if you're watching, does this class as a wood build? Seeing as though the majority of this model is wood. <laughs> Even though the actual kit is plastic. <clears throat> but there's a lot of woodwork involved. So, just uh, food for thought there. I've just got these side bits now, guys, to glue into players which are going to be going up here. So we'll be back soon as I've done that. So we're back and look what I've managed to do. I know you can't see it because it's glass. But I tried the acrylic just to test out to see what it looked like and it looked cheap as anything. It didn't look nice whatsoever. The good news I can still use the acrylic for the picture at the back. But I've cut my own glass. Now it's the first time I've really done it and I'm not going to lie, I did make a hell of a mess. <laughs> this is the only bit of glass this and that side I was able to salvage because if we pull this guy out, oh god, you can see, oh I'm not going to win any prizes for neatness, <laughs> put it that way. If we pull this guy down you can see uh, it's pretty jagged but once it's actually installed, you can't see any of that, you just got a nice piece of glass. And for my first go, you know, I'm quite proud of myself for that one, because I was thinking about ordering some glass. Now, the question is, coming to this front one, it's, I do have a large piece of glass, but I'm, I don't know whether to go for it, because you don't really want to be messing around with glass. And my glass cut is not the best. It's basically this, which I got from eBay, which is cheap as anything. You can see the size of the wheel on it. In fact, you can't even see it because it's so small. But, uh, yeah. But no, I think I think that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to have a go or not. Or maybe just see if I can get a piece just to fit in there flush. Um... Because it, it, it does, it, make, it makes all this sturdy and that's uh, once that piece is in the front. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. <laughs> uh, I'll be back as soon as I've got some a bit further along. Okay guys, so we've got our first coat on now. Looking a bit more like. Um, I've decided I'm going to order some glass. I can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday because we're Monday now. Um, but yeah, I've just been uh, applying the stain and protecting making sure that I don't get any drips on the wood otherwise that's going to look a bit nasty. So, but the first coat's on. So I'm going to let that guy dry. And depending on whether I've got enough I may do another coat on it. 
and I've ordered some French polish as well so we can get it polished up so hopefully it'll look a bit more like the frame. We still need to go a bit darker with this but it'll have to dry first before I apply another coat. Uh, and that's it guys so far. Um, I think I might just call this one done and we'll come back in update 8 hopefully when I start the seascape itself. Um, yeah, we've got the top of the lid done. Uh, so we've got our nasty looking clouds there. <laughs> so once that's dry, I can flip it over and I can paint the top and get that all matched in with this. Hi right, guys, uh, I thought I'd just continue a bit with this. I was going to end the update, but it's coming along quite nice now and it looks pretty good, I think. Um, Although I am running really low <laughs> on this stain, which isn't good. So, yeah, the colour's getting to where I like it, so that's good. Just giving it this top a, a second coat just to darken it up a bit more. But I am running out of stain. On another note, I've ordered glass. So, I, d I really didn't like the acrylic look. It just it looked cheap and you know you don't want to go to all this effort and it looking crap <laughs> basically. So hopefully that'll be here fairly soon. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, on Facebook, a carpenter actually commented on it and he said um, they really like my carpentry skills. And I said, oh, thank you. I haven't got any. <laughs> it's not something that I've really studied or anything like that. I mean, it's all right. But yeah, we're darkening up now. Nice. Sorry if my arm's in shot. <laughs> and how's that looking? That's matching in quite nice now. Um, I am running seriously low on this stuff. Uh, I'll just do a bit down here and I'll get that matched in. And I've ordered some French polish as well. So I'm looking forward to that coming. The wood grain's coming through nice as well. So hopefully this will start looking like an antique soon, once I uh, French polish it. Uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of it guys at the moment. I'm just trying to try and make this... Uh, oh, there, we've all gone now. So that's it I'm afraid. Hopefully there's enough. I'm happy with it I think, I think it looks quite good. Um, it'll look even better once it's all polished up. Just try and get rid of them little stragglers that are going to ruin the finish. You know Bob on Sci-Fi Fantasy was talking about uh, as any of you modellers picked up new skills and yeah I think I have <laughs> I'm a furniture maker who knew <laughs> but yeah really happy with that uh, I've run out now so that is it now I'll let it dry and see what it's like and then if it does need some more then I'll just have to go to it the shop and get some more but uh, I'm liking the way it looks at the moment and I'm glad that I've uh, I've got some uh, glass coming now as well so I'm happy with that uh, 
yeah uh, all good I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, measure up my acrylic for the back once this is dried and think about that mounting that picture uh, and then once I've done that then we're on to the seascape which is going to be really cool so just change view a minute and then well thank you for all the nice comments do appreciate them uh, thank you to all my new subscribers as well I seem to have got a ton of them in the last couple of days uh, so yes, appreciate you following along. Um, and you know what? Anyone can do this. You know, just just go for it. Just give it a go. I haven't I haven't done woodwork since school, and I think this is my second piece that I've actually done. First one being X-wing that I did. But yeah, just have a go at it. You might surprise yourself. Um, Okay guys, so I'm back again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just measuring up this back now. On the, I'm using the acrylic, but I'm just marking off the area because this area here I'm going to be spraying black. So I need to mask that area off. Just so it looks neater than what it is at the moment. But uh, if we take a look... We better just about make out that galleon in the background. So if you imagine all these clouds here will be there'll be lightning going on there and there'll be lightning at the top. The ship will be just slightly lower because I'm going to take it off the stand and do something with it and the uh, the sea will be about this high so I might even have the waves coming towards the glass so it looks like it's going to spill out of the case. Um, which definitely will be update 8, I won't be starting that yet because I've got to figure out where my wires are going to be going from this ship into the back, probably just under the acrylic I imagine would be the logical place to put it um, but yeah it looks pretty good um, I'm really liking it at the moment <clears throat> I, did, I did do something stupid because it's back, because it's green at the minute it's only because it's, only it's got um, plastic covering to protect it and as you can see on here if it'll come out on camera I drew the line on the plastic without thinking so I thought oh damn I'm going to take it off redo it anyway it's done now um, I think what else I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have to get myself some more dark oak and give it another coat especially the top although it has darkened it up a lot and it looks pretty good but I might just do one more coat on it um, and also the uh, the detailing parts that are going on top they need uh, another coat so yeah I'm gonna go off now spray this black also um, I called up Halifax glass now if you remember when I did the X-wing remember all the trouble I had with the glass and it took uh, like three weeks or something to get it through well I called him this morning, within half an hour he'd done it. So, if I take the camera off quickly, we have got our glass right there. So that was pretty good. I'll catch you later guys, see you. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor early in the morning. Way hey, and up she rises, way hey, and up she rises, way hey. Hey, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey.